Hello everyone, Monkle Zonky here, and what I'm going to be showing you today is how to do C2 fishing. This is the best fishing XP in the game from level 80 to 99. However, if you want to try it before level 80, you can if you're like level 70 or 60 fishing. It would be more efficient just to do fly fishing before then, but if you want to try it out, that's fine as well. You'll still get some pretty decent XP. So how you want to do C2 fishing is you want to go to Dungeoneering, open your party interface, and select a floor. Any of the frozen floors work fine. I wouldn't recommend doing any floor higher than the frozen floors, but any of the flo frozen floors do work out great. And you want to make sure you're on complexity 2 and then just enter a dungeon. And once you're in there, um, depending on how many tokens you have, you want to get your gatherer's ring and upgrade it as much as you can. I decided not to go for the final upgrade, the level 10 gatherers, because it costs a ton of tokens for a very small increase, but um, you want to make sure you can upgrade that thing as much as you can or as much as your tokens allow, or even as much as you're willing to spend. I would recommend getting at least level 5 gatherers ring, possibly higher. It does not cost very many tokens um, at such a low level. What the gatherers ring will do will... Uh, make you find more resources in a dungeon so you'll find a lot more fishing spots which adds to a lot more fish that you can catch which will make much better XP per hour so what you'll see in the background here is me doing one hour of C2 fishing incredibly sped up and you'll see how much XP you get at the end just keep in mind I am 94 fishing so if you are below level 90 you will not get as much XP as me but um, if you are level 90 I know it is a very big jump between 90 and 95 fishing and so if you are in, are in that level range, this can be a really efficient way to train. And in my opinion, it's a lot more fun than just doing the typical fly fishing. Uh, not everyone might think that because it's not very AFK. There is a lot of quick intensive stuff and you have to run through the dungeon and open doors and kill guardians and all that sort of stuff just to get to the fishing spots. You don't want to be killing any of the bosses because that just is really a waste. Um, there's no point in it. So what you want to do as soon as you've cleared all the fishing spots in the dungeon, just go to your party interface and click leave party and then start up again. This is how I personally drain my fishing because it's a very efficient way and I want to get fishing done as soon as possible. I'm not really a big fan of other methods such as fishing rock tails and um, fly fishing because they're just slower and not really what I'm into. Um, also another hint, if you're really into the game of fish flingers, which is very good XP and I'd recommend doing it if you're um, into playing that game, what you can do is do a couple C2 fishing floors, and then as soon as the Fish Flingers game is ready to start, you can use your game necklace to teleport to the Fisherman guy and um, start a game of Fish Flingers, and as soon as the game's over, you can teleport right back here with your Ring of Kinship and start another C2 fishing run. So that can be a really efficient way to train your fishing, and probably what I will be doing um, just depends on how everything works out. Um, just keep in mind that you will get used to how many doors are in each C2 dungeon, and after a while um, of training this way, you'll just be able to determine uh, how many doors you've opened and which one is the boss. So you can clear out all the doors, and then if one door is way across the dungeon, you don't have to run back to it because you can just determine that that's going to be the boss. That's just something that really takes time. Um, you want to make sure that you open every single door that you can, though, because there's always the chance that there might be a, a room with four fishing spots in it. Um, and those are really good XP. Um, if you find a room with four fishing spots in it and you're level 90 or plus, um, you can get around 7 to 8k XP. Um, one thing about this method that's not the, gr the greatest is it does depend a little bit on luck because sometimes you get dungeons that don't have any fishing spots in them. Sometimes you'll find a couple and not get very good XP. And sometimes you'll have a dungeon that has like 10 or 12 fishing spots in it and you'll get a lot of XP. So it is really hard to determine the XP per hour. That's why I just decided to fish for an entire hour and show you guys what I got at the end. Um, just keep in mind that the XP can really range between 90 and 110k an hour, depending on your luck, depending on your gatherer's ring, and depending on how closely you are paying attention. Um, but even if you do get unlucky and you're not paying close attention, it's still faster XP than any other method. So that's why I recommend doing this. Um, it can be fun also if you're just into the little dungeoneering thing of running around and killing stuff and opening all the doors. I personally find that kind of fun myself. Um, I also decided to keep my uh, XP counter so you can kind of see my fishing XP going up throughout this guide um, and how much I'm getting. I've done about 40 minutes so far, so I'm already at 65k fishing XP. Um, I did get a bit lucky, luckier in the first half of an hour. Um, I think I got about 60k in the first half hour, and I got less in the second half hour. You'll see how exactly how much XP I got at the end of the dungeon. Um, it was between 100 and 110k an hour, so um, I imagine that typically you can expect to get around 100k an hour 
doing this method and that is some pretty good XP if I do say so myself. There are a couple other tips that I can give you. One is if you notice I don't have any cosmic runes in my inventory and that's because I choose to use range and engineering so I have to bind arrows instead. However I know most people choose to use melee um, or if you get a celestial staff drop you can choose to use that for mage and use that to um, do your C2 fishing floors instead. Um, if you don't have any arrows bound, I would highly recommend to bind some cosmics. You can do that just by going into any larger dungeon complexity 4, 5, or 6 and just picking the stuff off the tables in the start, selling it, making some cosmic runes, and binding them. And you can use that to create gate stones, and it'll be much faster teleporting around um, the C2 dungeon. You won't have to waste as much time uh, running to and from rooms. However, I just choose to use range, so it is a bit slower that, that way. Um, another thing that you can do is you can do your rush floors while C2ing. So for example, once you've checked off every single floor and you reset, instead of just doing complexity one rush and killing all the monsters in the dungeon and getting to the boss as soon as possible, uh, what you can do instead is just do C2 floors and that way you get some fishing XP while you're rushing your dungeoneering floors. Um, I did make a video on that a while ago, but I just decided to make a full-fledged C2 fishing guide because it is a little bit complicated if you don't really know what you're doing and you're new to the whole C2 fishing process. All in all, as I've said, this is really not a guide to get from 1 to 99 fishing as um, you can, although you can do this method at level 1 fishing and uh, anywhere below level 80, I wouldn't recommend it just because other methods are much better, uh, such as fly fishing, and fly fishing is pretty basic and most people can figure out how to do that. Uh, I might end up making a fishing guide anyway, but for the most part, um, if you're level 80 plus, it's not that hard to get to level 80 uh, doing other methods. Uh, this is really the way to go to level 99, and this is what I'm going to do personally. So if you enjoyed this guide, please feel free to leave a like if you did, and you can also join my friend's chat in-game, which is Monkazunki, if you have any questions on how to do this method, and I can definitely answer any questions there. So that's all. Uh, I got 107k fishing XP in one hour, which I think is really good. And yeah, that's about all for this guide, and farewell.